Hello everyone, it is 618 now. We are continuing on into your Friday and just look at that sunset. It has been a beautiful one over Columbia. We're just going to be seeing everything now with the loss of that sunshine. Temperatures dipping back. A lot of 40s in play right now as we roll through some of your temperatures. Currently 48 Winsboro, Camden, but still some 50s lingering about. Sumter, you got it right there down to Orangeburg right into Columbia 53. But everyone as we go around the region will consistently take a step back. Uh, where I'm standing right now, basically anywhere further out towards the east. You can uh, look out towards King Street, a lot of areas in the PD in those mid and upper 40s. And as we said, Bishopville already there. You can push it a little bit further west towards Aiken, Barnwell, Saluda, and Newberry. A lot of areas flirting with the 40s. Not there just yet. You pull it in. Lexington, you got 54. A lot of areas that are just going to be uh, consistently falling their way back. It's getting colder. It's going to be a clear night, but it's a beautiful one. And this is just going to be giving us the nice setup that we need. More sunshine into your Saturday. Limited clouds mixing here and there, but nothing really to worry about and then Temperatures will really do their best to stay around average levels this time of the year. So as we progress, look at this right into your Saturday. Beautiful day. Get out there and enjoy if you can. And then as we go forward where highs will actually switch up from morning lows that will be in the 30s, it's going to be a little chilly there. It's still going to end up being really just a nice one. Super Saturday. And then into your Sunday, things start to change pace a little bit. It's not going to be the nicest day. Clouds work to roll their way in, but look towards the top of your screen if you can. A little bit more right by that uh, first alert weather banner. We're looking to see rain activity, but that actually should stay further into North Carolina until we get late into Sunday. This is going to be with a very weak cold front that drops its way through the region, and I say weak because it's not going to have a lot of moisture with it. It's just a very quick passing area of showers, and that's why I'm not really going with much forecast confidence for rain even into Sunday because it's going to be so late in the day, but here we go. Moving through and there it is. It's in here out of here. Honestly, it could be uh, into Columbia by the time a lot of people are sleeping. And then as you wake up into Monday, we see more of that sun working its way back in. It's going to be a nice start to the work and school week. Overnight conditions, mid 30s. We're going to be seeing a lot of clearing, so just gets colder. Got to be bundled up a bit to start out that Saturday. But you don't need the afternoon coat because of what we see here. And it's National Play Outside Day. It's a day to encourage outdoor activity and exercise. And with a high around 62 in that sunshine, why not, right? Get out there. Enjoy it if you can. And now as we go into the rest of that weekend, we're still going to stay relatively dry for your Sunday. It's just going to be in the lower 60s with more clouds that will be pushing their way in. So we could see that potential for an evening shower. That is going to be there, but it's still late in the day. That's the thing. It's a pretty dry stretch. And then we get quickly back to more Monday sunshine. It's extremely seasonable with average temperatures into the rest of the week until we get late into next week. Look for those temps to dip back with some rain next Friday.